from the time we first started having kids, um, I've always had the, the fear of um, a child dying while they're in my care. Um, that was not real conducive to um, my ministry of foster care. Um, I had a good friend in high school and college that uh, lost a baby of, in SIDS and watching him go through that, uh, I was wondering what, uh, how I would handle such a thing. You know, it would be devastating, I know, but if I would be able to handle it. Um, we have a, a story of a little boy, Joey, that uh, my wife got a call for um, back in December of 2000, or excuse me, 1999. And uh, he was a little boy that was gravely ill, um, only expected to live a couple of months. And she asked me, can we take him? They want him to, to leave the hospital. So he spends his last couple of months in, uh, in a home. And my initial response was, there's no way. You know, I made a list of pros and cons, and there were very few pros and a whole bunch of cons that, uh, that just something I wouldn't be able to do. And uh, so I prayed about it and basically told the Lord that, uh, that I wasn't going to be able to do this, even if he wanted me to. Be, it was just something I couldn't do, and I hope he wouldn't be too mad at me. And his response back to me was, yes, you're going to do this. And uh, so I couldn't say no. And uh, we brought Joy in our home to become part of our family. Um, he was, at the time we were in a 1,060 square foot home, three bedroom, one bath. And he had a nurse because he had to be monitored 24 hours a day. So we had a night nurse come into our home and our, our front room in our little tiny house became his hospital room. He had oxygen and feeding pumps and all of his equipment were in their front room. And, uh, but we managed, and uh, at six months of age, the doctors were surprised that he'd lived that long, but uh, he was actually starting to show some awareness of his surroundings, which they didn't think he would ever be able to do. He was uh, cortically blind and uh, um, bedridden and had cerebral palsy and, and several other issues. And uh, by his first birthday, it was uh, obvious that he was going to live longer than two or three months. And he, uh, he at that time, was starting to, starting to uh, be able to be calmed with our voices. He recognized us and the nurse. Uh, loved to have his nurse sing praise songs to him. Well, sure enough, by his second birthday, um, he was becoming more and more aware of his surroundings and uh, would, uh, would enjoy walks around the block um, and really liked music. Um, he had his favorite CDs. Uh, he was giving us an occasional half smile and uh, to most people, uh, two-year-olds, Smiling is not a big deal to us. It was a, a real blessing and a gift from the Lord that uh, kind of made us aware that what uh, we were doing what the Lord wanted us to do, and it was part of his plan. And uh, by his third birthday, he was really becoming aware of his surroundings. He would, would laugh out loud. Um, he would turn to the sun 
um, when it was shining through the window and uh, was really seeming to enjoy life the best he could. Um, and we were enjoying having him. Um, my wife would, he had a huge impact on our family and uh, uh, even the community. Uh, our kids had to sacrifice a lot of our time because we had to spend so much time with him, but they were willing to do that and I think it made a big impact on them. Jane would take Joy to high school health class, health room classes, and uh, we are, our hope was that they would see the devastation that, that drugs can do, especially while you're pregnant. Um, Joey passed away on Christmas Eve in 2002, just after his third birthday. Um, very rough time for us. He, he took his last breath in my arms. and. Uh, that was something, that, the hardest thing I've ever done in my life was to watch him pass away. He was uh, such a huge part of my life and uh, people would ask, would you do it again? And my response is absolutely. I, even though I'm afraid of doing it again, I would do it again because uh, it was so obvious that, the, that he was part of Lord's plan f for our family and that there was a reason for him to, to be on earth. Is the fear still there? Absolutely, it is. But it doesn't keep me from doing what I know the Lord wants me to do. I know he will support me and, uh, and get me through any, any of these rough times.